In the last video, we discussed about average. We learned that what do we mean by average and why do we calculate that? We learned that in order to calculate average, we can use either arithmetic mean or median or mode. And it all depends upon the situation given to us or the question being asked. Not in every question you can apply arithmetic mean or median or mode. It all depends upon the situation. This video tutorial is about arithmetic mean. We are going to discuss about arithmetic mean. Now, arithmetic mean sometimes is referred to as simply as mean. Okay, it is called simply as mean. So if someone asks you that you have to calculate mean, then that person actually means that you have to calculate arithmetic mean. Now, suppose we have a data set, let's say we have two, uh, then four, eight, 12, and 16. Now, if you have this data set, and if it is asked that you have to calculate arithmetic mean of this data set, then what you have to do is first add these values. So two plus four plus eight plus 12 plus 16. After adding these values, you have to divide this by the number of values. So how many values do you have? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Therefore, divide this addition by 5. What you will get? 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 8 is 14 plus 12 is 26 plus 16 is 42. So 42 divided by 5. Now you can write this simplify it and write in the form of a decimal number or you can represent this particular number that is 42 or 5 as a mixed number right so if you have to write this number in the form of a mixed number then you will write it as 8 2 or 5 so this value or the decimal number that you will calculate in this case if you want to write this in the form of a decimal number then that will be uh, 5, 8, 40, and 4, 4, 5, 4, 22, yes, okay. So 8.4 will be the decimal representation for this one. So either this or this will be the arithmetic mean for this data set. So what's the way? First add all the values given and divide that addition by the number of values present in the data set. Let's understand this further using some real life examples. Suppose we have three containers, container A, container B, and container C. Container A contains two liter of milk, container B contains nine liter of milk, and container C contains one liter of milk. If it is asked to you that how will you divide the milk in these three containers in a way that you have equal milk in each of these containers? So you'll say that, hey, that's very simple. You know what? You have two liter milk, then you have nine liter milk, and then you have one liter milk. If I have to represent this, the amount of uh, milk in these three containers in the form of a data set, then that will be two, nine, and one. Now, if I calculate the arithmetic mean, why? Because what I have to do simply is add all the milk, right, present in these different containers and divide them by three. That will give me the value. And that's actually what? That's arithmetic mean. If you add all the milk present in these three containers, that is two okay. plus nine plus one, then divide, if you divide them by three, then that's what? Actually, arithmetic mean only. So, you are calculating nothing else but arithmetic mean. So 2 plus 9 plus 1 divided by 3, this will give you 12 divided by 3, and this will give you 4, that is 4 liter. That is, each container should contain 4, lit 4 liter of milk. That's what we have represented here. Let's take one more example. Suppose on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, and on Friday, you study. These are respective hours for each of these days 
and you rest on Saturday and Sunday. So on Monday you study for 8 hours, then for 4 hours, then for 5 hours, then for 6 hours, then for 7 hours. Okay. If I represent this in the form of a data set, that is 8, 4, 5, 6, 7. These values in this data set tell you about the studying hours on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday respectively. For a moment, forget this question. Just forget this. Okay. Now, if you look at these values and the data that is given here, so if someone asks you that, hey, this is actually, you know, uh, a data set for studying hours for you, you're studying hours for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So what do you mean by that? Then you will tell her, hey, that, you know, you know what, actually that means that if I calculate the arithmetic mean, then I can tell you my average hours, that how many hours I study daily. So if you want to calculate the arithmetic mean, and that's what it is asked here, how many hours do you study daily on an average, right? This is the importance of calculating average. That's why we also say that average is also known as representative value. Because without average, without representative value, a given data set is nothing. That's why I said that for a moment, forget this question. Okay, forget that you have to calculate arithmetic mean. If this is the data set given to you, then what you will, you know, interpret from this one or any person, if you will tell some person that this data set tells that uh, my, st uh, this, this data set tells about the studying hours for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So how you will use this data set? So you will represent a value that will represent your data set and will explain something to the user. Okay. So in this case, we have arithmetic mean. And if we calculate this, then that will be 8 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 values. This will give you 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 5 is 17 plus 6 is 23 plus 7 is 30 divided by 5 and that is 6. That is six hours six hours is your arithmetic mean that is it is average that gives st average studying hours so what does that mean that means that if your studying uh, average studying hours is six hours that means that on average daily you study for six hours does that mean that you on each and every day you study for six hours no because you can see here, on Monday you are studying for 8 hours, then for 4 hours, then for 5 hours, then for Thursday it's 6 hours, then on Friday it's 7 hours. Not every day you are studying for 6 hours, but if I calculate an average using arithmetic mean, then that average will tell a person or anyone or even you that on an average you study for 6 hours daily. What about this one? Again, for a moment forget this one. So, five match series, on, um, in the first match you score 100, then in the second match you score 50, then 60, then 30, then 60. So if this is represented by a data set as 100, 50, 60, 30, and then again 60. So what will this data set tell anyone, even to you also, what will this data set tell? You'll say that 150, 60, 30, and 60 in this data set are the values of the scores that has been that have been scored in each of the matches or in the five match series. Okay, so if you have to represent a value, if you have to calculate a value that will represent this data set, that will be a representative value because that can explain something to any of the user or even to you. And that will be actually what average. And in this case, we can use arithmetic mean. So if I calculate arithmetic mean of this data set, so this is 100 plus 50 plus 60 plus 30, and then again 60, and you divide it by 5. 100 plus 50 is 150, plus 60 is 210, plus 30 is 240. 
plus 60 is 300. So 300 divided by 5, this will be 60, that is 60 runs. These all are actually runs, 5 math series, okay? These all are runs. It means that on an average, you or any batsman for whom these values have been given, that person actually scores 60 runs per match. That's an average. It's an average value. It means that that batsman calculates on an average 60 runs, has scored 60 runs in each of these matches. Does that mean that in every match that batsman has scored 60 runs? No. You can see here, in the first match it was 100, then in the next it was 50, then in the next it was 60, then 30, and then 60. So not in every match the batsman has scored 60 runs, but if we calculate the arithmetic mean, then that will tell us, this average value will tell us that on an average, 60 runs per match. So this is, you know, some, uh, these were some of, uh, some real example, uh, real life, real world examples. And I tried to explain you that, what's the importance of arithmetic mean and what do we mean by that?